crazy or not? Is a one-woman show at the Steppenwolf Theater using poetry and stand-up comedy to explore the lasting effects of emotional and psychological trauma. Joining us now with more is the star of the show, comedian, actress, and writer, Kelly Howard. Kelly, thanks so much for being with yes, us. Thank you for having me. There is this saying that you gotta laugh to keep from crying, and I feel like that's sort of what's happening here. So honestly, my mantra of life was laughter takes the pain away. I like have it tattooed wow. with a smiling band Band-aid on my arm. But what I realize is laughter literally just band-aids. Yeah. It doesn't take the pain away. And so this show goes into that deep introspection of how uh, I kind of got past the laughter and started to dig a little deeper. And it's still funny and it's still fun, but it talks about the more realistic approaches to dealing with trauma, you know, lasting childhood trauma. And I think we all have it, because it doesn't matter. Like if you had an older sister that yeah. pinched you <laughs> when you were two, that's a, a form of trauma. So you may get pinched as an adult and it freaks you out and you're not knowing why but that's because the body keeps the score like you can't get away from those things so yeah when did you decide it was fine like okay I gotta go get help with this because I can't deal with it myself everything I've been doing is great but it's not working so I was diagnosed with a mental illness shortly after I lost my 15 month old daughter oh. and oh my goodness it was so, so uh, thank you it was it was so like everything was happening all at the same time yeah that the diagnosis made me question whether or not it was valid. I was like, okay, but what about everything I'm going through and have been through that I've never talked about, never worked through? You know, what about that? And so that made me curious to start exploring all these different types of therapy from ayahuasca to Reiki to mm -hmm. acupuncture to EMDR to CBT to hypnotherapy. I mean, I can go on. I've okay. tried. <laughs> So many. <laughs> we can hear that you have done a lot of searching <laughs> and research and experimentation and work on yourself, like Amy said. Um, what is the most surprising thing that you've learned about trauma that you hope people will also take away from seeing your show? Um, that it's okay to have this, this, these memories and feel these memories. They're valid and they never go away. So it's about finding the acceptance that these things happen to you. <laughs> right. And they may show up in the most random times, mm -hmm. and it's okay. You just have to have tools and resources to be able to deal with those without taking it out on the world. Because I think a lot of us just didn't have the tools, and yeah. so we tend to attack other people with our traumas, not knowing that that's what it is. So yeah, just being able to accept it and knowing that it's a lasting thing, it never goes away, and you're gonna grow into the day you die. Well, and it's so wonderful that you're, you're turning into a show. It is a form of entertainment because you're doing the poetry and, and, and the storytelling. And story, yeah, yeah, so I like, I love all that. And it also opens up the questions and the conversation for a lot of people to have because I bet you there are a million other people that are not getting help. Mm -hmm. And that was my intention when I wrote the show. I was like, I want to open conversations around this idea of crazy because it's something that's said and just placed there. Like, yeah, so you're crazy. Loosely, right. And it's like, well, what does that even mean? And, and it's crazy, not subjective. You know what I mean? So, so that's what this whole show is exploring, is like, and how much of that comes from situations that have happened to you, not necessarily a brain um, a malfunction happening mm -hmm. in the brain. You know what I mean? Or, yeah. And Kelly, you were telling us, I mean, just for regular acting, you're putting a piece of yourself there on stage, but I mean, what has it been like for you? I mean, this must be, you're going through the emotional gamut every night that you perform. So I'm so far removed from it now. Mm -hmm. Like it's been 13 years since, you know, my daughter was born and 10 since she passed away. And I'm like at a place where I can look at it objectively and create art around it mm -hmm. and, and give that to the world for healing. Versus when I, like I had a show called Unmarried, which was one of my first one woman shows. And I went through some infidelity in my marriage and it was all anger. It oh, was yeah. all like in the moment, mm -hmm. I hate you, here's yeah. what I'm feeling. And I wasn't removed enough from it to actually create a really good piece of work. So I'm really excited about this show because I just feel, I don't know, it feels just like more authentic and objective mm -hmm. and not it's not rooted in anger. It has an intention of love and healing and it's just beautiful to me and I'm really excited about it. It's kind of like a grown up version, if you will, right? Yeah, I've grown up, <laughs> yeah, right. right. And people are gonna laugh, yeah, right? And they are definitely gonna okay. laugh. They're, yeah. they're, I've, I've had so many text messages from last night's open. I got a standing ovation last night to a sold out audience. Amazing. And so many people are text, 
texting me and emailing me like, oh my God, I laughed, I cried, I laughed, I cried more, I laughed again. <laughs> it was a perfect balance and it was the roller coaster of mental illness yeah. to me. Yeah. And that's what I wanted. That's awesome. Well, we want to make sure everyone gets the details for the show yeah. and they can check it out at the Steppenwolf Theater, uh, 19th through the 21st. Check out the website and Kelly's website as well, kellyhoward.com. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, that thanks for exciting. having me. Thank you so, so much.